Hey folks, we're back. Hey. Noble Rambler, my daughter Sarah, and I just lowered my chair and realized I'm lower now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, let's let's dive into this. Um, I've got the game paused, so let's get that going. And what's our weather report for tomorrow? Now, yesterday's report was a sunny, sunny. day. Yeah. Tomorrow is going to be rain all day. Okay, so tomorrow would be a mining day if we wanted to do that. I saw something else in there. What was that? Living off the land. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again for another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. That's right, the weeds were, are blocked by fences. They also, which means weeds do grow back. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down after a while, but stone, iron, and hardwood fences last a lot longer than basic wood. Hmm. Though I don't know that I've ever had a basic wood fence actually fall apart on me. They do over time, I think. Do they? Yeah. All it's right. A while. Mr. Wizard. Rasmodius Wizard. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem, Mr. Wizard. Okay. Well, we need to get the gardens. Actually, you can water. Well, you'll run out of energy. You can water and make a snack while I go visit Mr. Wizard. Get that on camera. That's probably a better plan. Better use of our resources. <laughs> so running down here. I may as well leave my scythe on since I've already collected weeds. And now what else are they good for? This right here, fiber. So that's that's a building material. Mm -hmm. And anything else in that regard, they, you can sell it. Yeah. Not worth much. Right, mostly just crafting. Okay. So I'll do this while I'm running over here looking for horseradish, which looks like pineapple. And yeah. The recording is still good. My, uh, I missed it completely. My screen is flickering real bad. But it's looking okay for you guys. So, yeah, we're, again, if, where, where am I going? How do we get up there? <laughs> okay. Maps. <laughs> up. You gotta go up to go down. Yes. Oh, I thought he was lower down. Okay. Anything in your box? Can't check it. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, I, I'll, I'll try and complete that conversation <laughs> later. Ah, come on in. He's kind of a cowboy wizard. <laughs> I am Rasmodius. Rasmodius? Rasmodius. Bye. Seeker of the arcane truths. Makes me want to play Skyrim. <laughs> Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elements. Yada, yada, yada. Keeper of the sacred. <laughs> you get the point. Yeah. <laughs> and you, Rambler, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold. <laughs> okay, we could we could condense this a little bit. <laughs> All right, we have a rat. And you've seen one before, haven't you? Oh, what, did I react and didn't notice? Okay. <laughs> there we go. They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I call them critters. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I'm not sure why they moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I saw a letter. Hmm. You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Um... I, I could go collect some things while you're... Okay, fine, whatever. 
Okay. Holy, 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 holy. Oh. <laughs> I, I found the note. All right, we're going to do some transcribing. I'm guessing the language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, I guess that's their plural. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, like hip eye, mm -hmm. are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. One with the forest. Mm. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. One with the forest. <clears throat> what do they mean? <laughs> that makes me think of um, Gandalf. Banging on the uh, the wall, <laughs> trying to get into the uh, uh, the dwarf cave or the fort, you know, underground mm -hmm. fortress, not knowing what uh, speak, speak friend. friend means. One with the force. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Sniff. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> Come here. Oh, these long conversations. Are we, have we run out of daytime? Mm, we're good. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Mmm. That was like chicken. <laughs> Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Um... <laughs> do I have to? It's green. Uh, it's I'm totally not. Drugs. I'm green. <laughs> oh, heaving. It's uh, it's all <laughs> going away now. Oh, clovers, Pretty. leaves. <laughs> Some good drugs in this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I haven't seen that since high school. <laughs> 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 oh, am I waiting to click or something? Well, you've been busy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm stuck here in this drug trip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Jumin Junimo scrolls. Oh, what a trip. Okay, we've lost half a day there. Let's run back. And did you manage to get any more seeds? I see yes. we're broke, so apparently you did. <laughs> so you planted them? Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, so that's all done. Oh, got a plant over here. And so now you can take that to the community center. Okay. And actually that one's a silver. You got another one too. There's a few things in your chest you can okay. use too. These things keep growing. Gotta clear up pathways. Alright, so back to here. Open you up. Toss the unessentials. Pick up that one, that one. And your daffodil. And my. What's a daffodil? A flower. That one. Okay. So, doesn't matter what we give them quality wise, so we'll keep that one to sell. We don't have another choice there, so we'll, we'll, so we'll give them that one. So there's four. Was there a fifth one? Uh, yes, there's a leek, which we haven't seen yet. They're a little bit rarer. Okay, so that's different from the spring onion. Right. Okay. So let's run that way and go deposit those. Actually, we have I haven't gone over the top yet. So let's go a little, uh, let's see, this way. Go a different route and, and see some new real estate. We, oh, there we go. I got another one of these. Now we did go over the top the first episode. That's right. So we have actually seen it. But there are forageables that get dropped off in this area too. There's Mr. Linus. We gotta always say hi to Linus. He doesn't have much of a life. The crisp air of the wilderness is all I care to know. I live out here by choice. Alrighty. So we're going to... Where are we going? Going uh, to the community, community center. 
the long way. Now if I say hi to everybody, we'll never get there. So I'm just going to run through here. And eventually there is a swing that shows up in here, right? Or Maybe. just a bench. Or a seat, yeah. Okay, so let's head over here to our rat critter, Junimo. And he flees. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so this allows us to... We're looking for these guys, so our first offering. Now, can I just click? Nope, I've got a place. Or is there something uh, like a right click? I think shift click. Will. Shift click will drop them into their proper place. You didn't like that. We need... Ah, so we can't actually do any... We can't complete a collection today. Okay, so out of... Oh, I gotta put you down. Alright, out of you. So winter forageables, spring forageables, construction bundle. So if we've got 99 of all these, including hardwood, which we haven't seen yet. And then <clears throat> fall forageables. Let's just... That's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. So click on. So these we're going to find in the fall. Mm -hmm. Our mushrooms and plums and hazelnuts and blackberries. And in the spring, summer, we're going to find spice berries, grapes, and sweet peas. And in the winter, we're going to find winter root, crystal fruit, snow yams, and crocuses. Croci? <laughs> and yeah. exotic forageable bundles. Ah, things that we make. Oh, no, we tap the trees for these guys. These? Those also forage. Uh, but are they mm. in the secret forest? I think so, yes. Okay. And, yeah, just variety of things. Cactus is out at the that desert. other place. Yeah. There's 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 more to this game than, than you think. <laughs> it goes on for a while. They've, they've added a lot. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. So with that, we were thinking about heading to the mine today. Where are you at right now? On the farm. On the farm. Is there a better plan? Hmm. Can you, you can't get to the mine from the farm. You can only get to our secret cave. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so why don't you head up to the mine, and I will head there too. And we're having a, a little uh, uh, afternoon looking out over the over the town uh, Robin hey I heard that Lewis showed you around the community center it'd be great if you could fix this place up it'd be great if you could too because <laughs> you repair all the buildings it used to be a really nice building uh huh we're not supposed to notice that and Demetrius uh, Maru helps me out in the lab sometimes she's a good kid which was always kind of uncomfortable because you can I guess if you are a kid yourself though Rambler here looks got a beard looks like a man but he can date and marry their daughter which mm -hmm. is they're adult children adult children okay yeah. I also We're, brought your sword for you I can drop it off I might need that thank you there you go okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah normally I keep that on me all the time but normally I've got a bigger backpack mm -hmm. So speaking of backpacks, I'm already at a, uh, we need to build a, you can build a chest right here. Mm -hmm. And then you can come and dump off when you're, you only have three slots available. But I guess you, you're, where's your backpack? You're empty. So what I can't pick up, you can. Mm -hmm. So we can drop down one. We can elevator every fifth level back up, that kind of, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's unlock them. All right. So pickaxe and... No beasties are going to attack us in here, but eventually we're going to uh, have some problems. Now, this guy we can hit is different from the big rocks you find in the farm, but it takes a lot more hits to do it. And it would also be smart to bring with us things that give us more energy. Though we can find, well, maybe not the early levels, but eventually there'll be cave carrots and things like that to, to find in here that are energy. And you don't have to get all the rocks, but we actually do need stone and other things for different building projects. You may as well just clean out these levels. And we're at 8 p.m. already. I'm going to hit pause. Hey, you stopped the time! Mm -hmm. And 
so that we can just take the time to explore a little bit. Maybe go down to level five, which is you need to take these and I bought it. I found a geode, and the local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? And I actually had room for it. Don't get too far ahead of me because you're going to need to pick up all the things I can't pick up after this. Yeah, I'm full down. <laughs> oh, you're full too. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything that I don't? How did you get there? Oh, you can go around that? Underneath. Underneath. Okay. So you have coal and copper. Okay. So if I run out of copper, then you can, and coal, or uh, coal. Mm -hmm. So what else do you have then besides coal that's different from mine? I found a dagger that ah. came out of a stone. Okay. One hundred, about uh, ten thousand paces. Huh. There's a beastie. All right, sword. Go after the fly. <laughs> and we got bug meat that I can't. Nope. It didn't drop anything. Hmm. Yeah, I thought that would have dropped bug meat. Okay, and I'll walk over here and show you guys what's in here. Now this guy is something I now can't pick up. Hmm. I'm going to eat a horseradish, and and do you want to eat a parsnip? How's your... I'm yeah, why, low. why don't you eat a parsnip? So if I click that, and can I just throw it? Um, no. If you go to your inventory and put it like outside. Okay, so if I do that... that you threw the other one right at me. Is that... Is that how you got rid of the sword? Yeah, I'm also... Oh, uh, you're full too. I will give you my copper. Okay. And now you can eat and get a little more energy. And I can collect this guy. And have it tell me it's an earth crystal. Okay. Anyway, let's grab the sword and... The sword will break these open. Boxes too? Okay. So we got a bunch of wood. We got an amethyst. Is there anything else we truly don't need so we can bring this wood home? Probably isn't. Yeah, we can All get these are more, of wood. Yeah, okay. So, I guess just collect as much of the stone and copper as we can. And when we get back, hopefully we get a little bit more coal out of this too. So, it's just a random drop. There are other ones that actually give you coal. But, um, we can... Oh, here's the downstairs. Not the upstairs, but the downstairs. Um... But we can get a an ore going while we're so. Do you have stone in your? Mm -hmm. Okay. So once you do, you want to collect stone too, or not? Um. Clear the levels out. Sure. I'm low on energy again, though. Oh, you're low. Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's the difference. Okay. Well, we'll just uh, let you hover down there for a little bit, and any sign of. Uh, cave carrots while you're down there. Oh, I, I can get cave carrots out of this. It's down here? No, that's not, that's a floor. That's not a sand. Okay. Right. Um, just a stone there. Okay. Yeah, normally you wouldn't clear out these levels. It's not that important, but it is a good source of raw materials while you are so new to the game. But let's grab you, and I'm actually getting low on copper as well, uh, on energy as well. I just picked up that copper. So in that case, I think I will just concentrate on copper and important things. What are you? You're a stone. So we got a bug down there, and we don't have a glow light. So where's my... And I can't even see where I'm going. So you're on your own over there. <laughs> now, you could eat the... Uh, that the seaweed eat. there. Yeah. So once you do that when you can, I'm going to go take out this guy. And there's bug meat that I can't pick up. Now, can you eat raw bug meat or does that just make you sick? Uh, you cannot. Okay. I think if you get a bunch of them, you eventually get a uh, recipe to make a, like a bug steak. Okay. So I'll grab that. You eat that one and that one up there. Because I've got more energy than you do. Mm hmm and we'll get ourselves down to, are we, we're level four. So is there anything else of value in here? Not doing the stone anymore, but I don't see any more copper. Does it light up well in the, uh, uh, in the dark? Hmm? 
Is oh, the copper. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty visible. Okay. Have we found a downstairs yet? Not yet. Oh, so we've got to have enough energy left to make that happen. And when we clear out level five, we'll call this episode, well, this day done. Where are we recording-wise? We're 20 minutes into us. Yeah, we'll get another day into it. Okay, where's our stairs down? I am running out of <laughs> energy. Can you even see the stairs down? Uh, if you can walk into it, it'll stop you. Okay. Oh, bunch of stone there. Yeah, I lost my stone splot. Okay. Let me catch this one. Now that we can't break open. No, stay okay. core. So I'll run through here, pick up all of these things you left behind. And we may just have to call it quits and take the elevator up. I might have one more parsnip. If we're okay with Okay, yeah. Not selling that. Mm-hmm. So you find us a way out of here. I'm gonna run around in the dark. Ah, that. I thought that did it. I thought mm -hmm. it, it flickered for just a moment, but oh. it wasn't. Okay. Um. Oh, here it is in the dark. In the right dark. Here. Ah. Okay. All right, level five. That gives us the elevator, so we can go back up top. But while we're here, if there's any energy left, and that is, I'm gonna let you do the work. Mm -hmm. Because if I get to where I can't walk, it's going to take forever <laughs> to get back home. Don't have a mine car system to uh, to ride. I'm not seeing any uh, um, no copper. Any copper? So I guess we I dropped call... one right here in front of me. Came out of a stone. I don't have a slot for it though. That one. Okay. All right. Well, let's just grab the elevator and go back up. And zero, and back home. So turn time back on. We accomplished that goal. And I've been over the top already today. So I'm gonna go... Now what I found is that those little messages there don't show up in the stream, which is nice. Okay. I worried about having the Steam overlay on while I played games because I'd have friends pop up saying they're starting a game and don't want to, uh, to, uh, what is that word, dox them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but it doesn't show up in the, in the recording, so that's kind of convenient. Um, I haven't looked down. There was a community bulletin board down here. Does that show up later? Yes. Okay, so that's why I haven't noticed it. And I have no space for anything, so I guess there's no point in doing anything else this episode. I'm out of energy. We're pretty much toast. Mm -hmm. Time to go home. And we're back to the homestead. Now, I don't have anything to toss. The amethyst could go to the museum, the first one. We don't use them for anything else other than selling them. Yeah. And we're eventually we're going to need to get a better chest system here and start spreading this stuff out. Building materials in one and you know, plants in another, that sort of thing. But let's go to sleep for tonight. We're both there. And level two foraging. So mining is not foraging. That's its own skill, yeah. Yeah, so this is just one extra horseradish for the day, and it put me over the, over the top, and we got the new recipe for a survival burger. I'd like to see what that is. It, does it take the... Uh, it takes um, the kitchen to make. Probably, yeah. Yeah, okay. Camp. There's no campfire to, for a cheap kitchen or any there, shortcuts, right? There is one, but I think you will unlock it later. Okay. Uh, mining, level one, pickaxe proficiency, cherry bombs. Kapoor blow up a whole area so we made a whole 80 coins this time hmm okay so plans for today we've seen the mine we are raining raining so this would be a time to go mining again but mm -hmm. we've kind of done that this episode who's written to us robin here i know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm if you have a surplus you might consider having me build a well for you i've never really 
found the well very useful. There's, there's water mm. nearby. Yeah. Uh, and that thousand gold, that could be used for much better things. Mm -hmm. Anyway, wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. So if you would sell me a watering trough for, say, 200 gold, mm -hmm. like, and I can put that where I want. So just swing by my shop with 75 stones and a thousand gold, and I'd be really glad to take that money from you. Robin! Okay. Oh, there's another letter. Marlin. Who was Marlin again? The Marlin was, was the old... Uh, pirate in the mine. Yeah, <clears throat> I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurous spirit. That much I can tell you. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurers guild. And we did go down to level five. Now we got to reach level forty. Mm -hmm. Never mind. It seems that the mine elevator is still functional. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to find out when that one goes bad? <laughs> it will allow you to quickly return to the elevator door, to any elevator door you've discovered. So we can go back down to level five very quickly. A deep expedition might be in order. Hmm. Initiation. So they want to, he wants us to get ten slimes. All right. And we've already gone through two hours. And there's another letter. Pause. <laughs> This just takes... Normally, this would be paused while you're playing by yourself. Mm -hmm. But as multiplayer, it cancels out all the pause, and that just that's just too frustrating to make YouTube videos with. Um, dear Farmer Rambler, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. Continued on next page. <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to read that part. <laughs> the first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipe you've earned. Learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley, your local carpenter, Robin. Seems like the game should have given me this one before they gave me the well letter. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, no. I was wondering if that sent me to the other letters. All right, so three letters at one time. That's a little overwhelming. Um, 8.20 in the morning. We don't have to plant. We don't have any more seeds. I'm going to run up and look, talk to Robin and see just what it takes to add a kitchen. Of course, we then have to add another kitchen for you. So, you have... One thing about multiplayer games like this is we've got to make twice as much money everything we do. So we need all of these forageables. And found a leak. A what? You found the leak. Oh, That's I found the last it. one you need. Ah, the leak. Okay. Take that to the community center. <clears throat> so we'll make that part of this trip as well. Um, I don't see any goodies over there. Let's run straight down this way. And talk to... It's locked until 9. All right. Get the timer going again. Did that work? I got to click out of that. Ah, no. there we go. All right. Timer's going again. So I was making up for the time I spent reading those letters, but we'll make up for it later. Mm -hmm. Grab two leaks. So note to self, there are more leaks when it rains. Mm -hmm. And next time it rains, that won't be the case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but a little time to kill. Sometimes I see forageables hiding out over here. And I haven't been here yet. And there's another bridge to go and tackle. I was hoping that because I haven't been out here that it would have some waiting for me. But that wasn't the case. And eventually, that's up in this area too. To get up to the spa. That And this we eventually break and get a waterfall or something coming out of there. The spa is a little higher up. I'll go and check that real quick. It, we can't get there yet, but... Or how do I even... Yeah, it's blocked. But oh, it, it comes one. out of right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go talk to Robin. We can't afford to do anything yet, but we can at least see what our goals are going to be. So Robin, talk to me about... Uh, upgrading a house, shop, constructing farm buildings. So upgrading a house... I will increase the size of your house for 10,000 gold. You'll also need to provide 450 pieces of wood. Interested? Mm. <laughs> no. Um, 
shop. Okay, so we can buy windows and chairs and dressers and furniture, house plants, TVs, a basic log. Okay, <laughs> in case you just want to have that that rustic decor in your in your home, fireplace. So you can you can change when you've got more money than you know what to do with. You can go and customize. Um, also, construct farm buildings. So this is typically where you for, you put your first monies. I want to get that chicken coop going. So we need 4,000 gold. And the, what you weigh there is before or after you buy your backpack. Right. Which is really convenient to have because you spend less time running back home to drop off supplies. So you can get more things done. But then you don't get chickens. <laughs> and then 300 wood and 100 stone. Or do I have to hit X? Got to be a better way to... Oh, there it is. Look through this way. Oh, yeah. So barn, 6,000 gold, your well for 1,000, your silo, that's another important thing to get soon. So you can be stockpiling even before you get animals. That's only 100 gold. Five copper bars, 10 clay, and 100 stone. That's probably our first one, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, we could do that one right now almost if we had the copper bars that we didn't smelt last time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, let's head back down. Community center, and then go smell some copper bars. And again, we are recording several episodes all at one time. So comments from the last two episodes I have not seen yet, so cannot answer or address problems that that uh, have been, you know, YouTuber blindness is walking past all these episodes and you've been screaming in the comments, go look at this. <laughs> all right, so here we are going to finish our first collection. Build it, a bundle complete. All right. Waiting for any more animations. This one? Yes. Oh, that's the gift. That always confuses me. I feel like it's one of these. Right. I say, okay, I guess I'm working on this one next. <laughs> I got 30 spring seeds, which are random seeds. Ye that'll be your forgeables. Okay. That's right. So... We gave forgeables. They gave us back a lot more forgeables. Yeah. I see. Oh, and now we've got more to fill in. Oh, really? <laughs> and even more. more to fill in. Okay. Are you done? All right. So we've got all of these. Pause. All of these to fill in. We've seen these already. And yeah, there's a bunch. And then we we'll run up into here. And what do you want? Another six. Yeah, so you want crop, oh, oh, crops from animals and fall crops and summer crops. And I thought winter crops. Would, oh, there are no winter crops. That's right. And then we got artesians, the things that you make. So your cheeses and honeys and what have you. And let's see, back this way? Yeah. Quality crop bundles, so your your gold versions. Fall crops are going to be corn, eggplant, and pumpkin and yams. And our summer crops are going to be tomatoes, hot peppers, blueberries, and melons. And artesian, we saw that. Quality, spring, summer. I feel like I missed one, but I don't see it. Animal, that's what I missed. So milk and goat milk and wool. Duck eggs and two kinds of chicken eggs. Okay. And that's not all. <laughs> that's why I'm paused. <laughs> Head over here to the, what looks like an aquarium. Fish tank. So all the different fish start saving a sample of everything. So another reason why we need to make a new box. Mm -hmm. Start saving a different box for each or put a box for each different kind of category of the game. So lots of different kinds of fish. And I have, this looks like things that we find on the beach? Yeah. You find also, love crayfish? You can get a crab pot, too. And oh, catch that's right. The crab pots. I've forgotten so much. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, you could play this game for a very long time and still have things to do. So there is there's a long shelf life to Stardew Valley. 
So, have you been out and about looking for forager bowls? Is um, there a reason for me to pop up here? I've been up top. I haven't been in the forest, though. Okay. So, I'm going to try to find a... Well, let me plant the spring seeds. Oh, yeah. And then, try to remember how to make iron or copper. And something is making noises <coughs> at me again. So what do you think that is? What kind of beasties mm. in the forest that does that? Mm. Let's, cop let's plant the seeds. Yeah, we'll pop one in there just to be a surprise. Mm. Oh, we need to make more spaces. Okay, we'll make more spaces. Great time to do it. It's raining. And yeah, turn mm. the timer back on. Maybe it's Bigfoot. Bigfoot. He's lonely. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. So hard to aim and click. Yeah, <laughs> thirty. So I'm gonna take. Ugh. Yeah. Stand here. Don't move. <laughs> there. Okay. Let's. I'm gonna leave that messy this time, <laughs> just for fun. Okay. You good? So you can only go so far around away from yourself. Oh, it seems happy that time. Get them all? Can't really see them. Okay, so you are done. And where am I? Oh, up there at the ore. So I'm going to need... I found a skeleton hand. When did I find a skeleton hand? I Probably dug it up somewhere. Hmm, I haven't done any... Oh, out of the garden. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> Who knows what's buried in our garden? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I need coal, and I need copper ore. And... Okay, I guess I have to choose them. And then put it in, and choose them. That's not doing it either. Cool choose you, right. and do that one. Okay. So you just need to hold... You have coal in your inventory, but hold the copper. Ah, okay. Noob here. <laughs> and put you... Yeah, I'll hang on to you. We'll do one more. Do two more bars. And how long... Uh, boy, that was faster than I remembered. Okay, I'll just hang around. So, copper and... There we go. Okay. So, after this, let's what? Timer's running... Have you, since you said that, been down below? To no, I've okay. been fishing. So I'll make the run down at the, uh, the south woods, we'll call it. As soon as this guy finishes. There we go. All right. Over here. Drop off the stuff that I don't need. Boom, boom, boom. And get stuck and run down. So you think you can get to the, the store in time to get some more seeds? Sure. You up in that area? Yeah. So plant everything you can. Let's get as much productivity going on in that farm as possible and turn all that into backpacks at the end of the season. So I'll run down over here. Got an itchy nose. Talking makes my nose itch. <laughs> I have a, a deep voice that vibrates the little hairs in my nose. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> ah, I got one not a leak. Yeah, there's my not a leak. Not a leak, and to see if I can find a not a pineapple. I tend to follow with my mouse, I notice. <laughs> Always got my hand on the on the mouse. There, yeah. Uh, sometimes one pops in down here. Not a pineapple. Cool. Right out this way. There's my stomach again. Looking out over here while I'm running. See if it, oh, there we go. And I have room and I have energy. Let's clear these. 
attempt to clear these paths a little bit. Now, this is a dead end up here. I can't get out of that, so no point in going in there. I don't remember ever seeing forgeables hiding up in there anyway. <clears throat> I feel like I'm starting to lose my voice. Maybe three episodes is my limit. <laughs> and this guy... Clear you guys back out again. Now, if I remember right, when we go to the next season, it starts all over again on having to clear up these forests. Yep. Whole new... Except for where we have farms... You for plots. Right. Okay. Uh, sort of. It'll kind of. It'll kind of clutter you a bunch things. Of stuff, yeah. yeah. So, you let's clear you out and you out and. So there's no reason then to truly clear the map. It's all going to come back anyway. Mm -hmm. Just a matter of making it convenient as far as pathways. Yes. Okay. Which next one is probably going to be the scythe see what's grown in the pathway since so yeah the weeds do come back because that's the danger of them growing into your fields mm -hmm. okay so it's already getting kind of dark as far as me seeing my path we're up here and drop some things off and now that you have a sword you can drop off your scythe free up that spot because they'll do the same thing oh really yeah and it doesn't wear it out Right. Okay. I didn't know that. I always kept them both. <laughs> the scythe is used for some crops, which the sword can't do. But clearing like weeds and grass and stuff, you can use your sword. Oh, but I'm still going to have to go back and get it to harvest some of the crops. Yeah, it's like wheat and kale and okay. maybe like one other thing. Okay. Well, we're good for but now. That's... Do we have any kale? Uh, no. Have you bought any? No. Okay. All right. So, anything else to accomplish today? Go and pick up... No, there isn't a copper. You must have got it already. Mm -hmm. um, I have some more energy, though. So, I'm going to go down and bang on a couple trees in the dark. What could possibly mm -hmm. go wrong? <laughs> if I'm limping on my way back, you'll know why. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to decide which trees might be nice to not chop down and leave. But I guess we can plant our own trees and position them where we want them to. So by now I'm sure I would have turned the brightness up in the video while post-editing. So you're right now seeing a lot more than I am. I'm, uh, I'm chopping by braille. leave that tree there but you are gonna go because it looks like that's an opening in the fence let's find out yeah so it'd be nice to see that easier all right so where am I I can get one more tree out of today and probably call this episode done uh, I gotta get used to finding my sword it only swings off to the side though now I like the size better. Oh, that's not... It'll able. be the direction you're clicking. It should be. Yeah, I was clicking out over here, and he was swinging over there. Hmm. Or the direction you're facing? Maybe. Just didn't remember doing that with the scythe. I'll have to compare them. Mm -hmm. All right, got all of you guys? I think so. So I'm going to head back. Is there an opening in there? There is. All right, I'm going to clean that out. That drives me nuts. I can't see that through the dark. Well, I can't even see the opening anyway. <laughs> All right, through here. Oh, you put a scarecrow in. Mm -hmm. Nice. And drop off some... I can't. Nope. So you go ahead and do what you're doing. I'm done. Drop all of you guys off for tomorrow. So do you want to keep your spring onion for something? Your gold star? Uh, yeah, let's keep those. Okay. Let's keep one gold of everything. And then later, when we are desperate for some money, <laughs> it'll be there. Money in the bank. <laughs> so, yes, for me, went past midnight, got all red and angry up there. Uh, 2 a.m. you'd fall over. Mm -hmm. Someone finds you. Yep. 
charges you money for for doing a good deed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, been there, done that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, day ten will be next episode, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we're in the forty-five minute range. Waiting for. Oh. Oh, I didn't get that screen. Hmm? That was weird. Oh, no, I did. Just I did. I did. I clicked through it. I was expecting the other screen that tells you that you've leveled up. Mm -hmm. Okay. I Rainy day today? Yeah. Rainy yeah. day today, tomorrow. Windows are dark. Okay, for next episode for you guys. Anyway, it's been Noble Rambler and my daughter Sarah, and we've had a lot of fun doing foolish things in front of the camera. We'll do it again next time. Thanks for stopping. Bye. Bye.